We're going to see right now edge detection. Edge detection is when we have a sharp change of intensity or color in an image. Let's take an example. So we have this image of the panda and here we have white color and here black color. So this exact line it's where there is this sharp change of intensity and so this can be considered an edge and so it's the same for the other edges so when this part the white from the green and so all the dif these differences in the image we have three methods to detect edges one is Sobel the second one is Laplacian and the third one is Kenny we're going to see the difference between these methods and when it's best to use each one of them. Let's actually start detecting edges on this uh, image of the panda. So we import CV2, import numpy as np, we load the image cv2.im read white underscore panda dot jpg and you can download this image from the link in the description and we want to work with an image in grayscale color so cv2.im read grayscale let's first show the image cv2.im show image emg cv2 dot weight key zero cv2 dot destroy all windows okay here we have the image of the panda we're going to see now the first operator which is sobel sobel works in this way finds the change of the contrast and we have to sobel so first we have to do it looking for change in intensity horizontally and then we have to do that as well vertically so let's use the first sobel x it's equal to cv2 dot sobel we're going to apply sobel on the image data type cv2 dot cv underscore 64f this one you have to always use this one then one zero that's all one zero it means we are applying the Sobel filter to work on the X axis and later we, we will do the opposite so Sobel Y equals to CV2 dot Sobel EMG again I copy this one and instead of one zero it will be zero once on the opposite working on the opposite axis and let's show both Sobel X and Sobel Y. CV2 dot him show Sobel X Sobel X. Uh, oh, okay, I, I did a typo. So Sobel X. Okay, and then CV2 dot him show Sobel Y and Sobel Y. Here is the result. As you can see, the detection was really poor and there is really a lot of noise in this image. And you can see this one is, is horizontal detection and this one it's vertical. How can we remove the noise? The best option would be to apply first some Gaussian filter so to blur the image so we're going to lose uh, 
details and then to apply the edge detection so we can do image it's equals to cv2 dot gaussian blur image kernel size 5 5 and 0 let's see now the difference it's a bit better than before but still let's say that it sucks it's not what we want let's now see the second method which is Laplacian Laplacian works with only one kernel so we don't have to work both for y and x axis Laplacian it's equals to cv2 dot Laplacian image the type is still the same let's copy this one cv2 dot cv underscore 64 f and that's all cv2 dot im show laplacian laplacian okay so we have the blurred image sobel and laplacian laplacian gives us definitely a better result but at the same time the image is still really noisy so we can for example increase the kernel size we can say kernel size 7 or we can for example keep kernel size as 5 and in blur the image much more before applying the the lapilation it depends on which project and image image you are working but still Laplacian doesn't give a decent result in this image so we have the third method which is the most common which is Kenny it's equals to cv2 dot Kenny emg and then we have two threshold let's say 100 and 150 values below this threshold are sure to be non edges values higher than this threshold are sure to be edges values in the middle can be edges or not it depends the algorithm will try to figure out if their edges or not so let's see can you see two dot in show can you and can you and here we have can you edge detection so what can it does it gives us really thin edges where for example Laplacian and Sobel method have edges thicker if the contrast is higher or if for example the resolution if the image is higher so Laplacian and Sobel works really different when we have a high resolution image or a low resolution image while Kenny edge detection is the one which is going to work the best and give, giving us always really thin edges which is what we really want and so now that we have this let's try to use it with 
a video real time so I'm going to take the camera actually I'm going to delete this code and let's import cv2 import numpy as np cap it's equal to cv2.video capture zero while true underscore frame it's equals to cv2 dot oh no sorry cap dot read I'm going to convert the frame to gray scale cv2 dot cvt color frame cv2 and color color bgr to gray then cv2 dot in show frame frame key it's equals to cv2 dot weight key one if key equals 27 so the ask key on the keyboard we break the loop we release the camera cap dot release and cv2 dot destroy all windows let's see if the code is correct it is okay now i want to find the edges on myself let's apply both laplacian first actually let's first apply the filter so let's call it blurred frame equals to cv2 dot gaussian blur we're going to apply the blur on the frame kernel size it's five by five sigma zero then let's apply laplacian it's equals to cv2 dot laplacian blurred frame data type cv2 dot cv underscore 64f and let's do Kenny as well cv2 dot c dot Kenny blurred frame threshold one let's say 100 and threshold to 150 let's show both cv2 in show laplacian laplacian cv2 dot in show Kenny the frame okay here the edge detection for me doesn't work really well because here there is not much change in, in contrast so it's pretty dark both my my head and the wall in the back Laplacian gets everything but at the same time the image is really noisy so we can say the uh, to end this video did, that Kenny is the most used but sometimes if you have some image where you need to get many details you might it might be useful for you to use Laplacian so thanks for watching.